All right. We, um... We're gonna just... I just woke up, man. I can't believe this. I just, you know... I just gotta wake up to this sort of level of just... racism going on. Right? Tyler MK. Over here. He says he woke up this morning. To this. What? WTF. It says Tenya wasn't in MK2. Why is Tenya missing her ninja mask? Why is Tenya being discriminated against by not getting a ninja mask? Oh, look at my face. Total MK is right again. Force DEI skin pack add on. If they had have made Tenya look like MK4, Tenya, all problems would have been avoided. But they did this on purpose. Make Mortal Kombat great again. Mm -hmm. So. We, I've already covered this, like, and this is what I'm talking about. Nobody gives a shit what color a person is, right? What we care about is when they are ticking boxes for forced diversity, gaslighting you when you point it out, basically, right? And all the weirdos are crying about this, so we're going to get into that. We have some, we have some tears to enjoy, boys and girls, right? The reason why, and this is my explanation, the reason why it bugs me is because this is actual MK2, like, well, almost, right? But the actual MK2 outfits. Why is it that two of the three women in this particular shot are allowed to have their mask and their headband, but not Tanya? And since Tanya, as he's, this is why he's pointing it out, because Tanya wasn't in MK2, she shouldn't be getting one at all. Don't you guys fucking get it? Right? Technically speaking, the first time we got Tanya, and by the way, nobody gives a shit about her skin color because both Total and K and I praised how Tanya looked in the absolute woeful and abysmal Chaos Reigns expansion. Right? They actually made her look pretty instead of making her look like fucking Michelle Obama. That wasn't my quote. That was been people's comments. God bless you all for saying that, right? So, <laughs> so I know exactly what he's saying. He's saying, why give a skin to a character in MK2, right? Well, they're doing that as a skin pack, right? But then they don't make it accurate because they remove the mask. So they've already failed twice. Now, I don't care, like, and, and, uh, and I know he doesn't either. I know he doesn't care if she actually had the full ninja outfit. But they're doing this for a reason. They're only doing it for her. They're not doing it for Melina or Katana. And you say, but they had they had actual outfits. Correct. So why is Tanya getting an MK2 outfit? Why doesn't she get the full outfit that the other two get? They run out of money. Right? So let's read some of these comments. Fear Your God says Tanya has never been treated as a female ninja in the series, so that's why she doesn't have not, not have a mask. She's not an MK2, bro. Right? And this is the thing. Right? I mean, I don't care if she was treated like ninja, that's fine. Like, you know, it was just another, like, hot chick that was in the game that was wearing yellow. Right? Uh, but I never thought she was a black woman. I thought she was Latina. So fuck you. Right? It's interesting, isn't it, how... We have Jade and Tanya, who look like they were from different parts of the world. We already had a black character in there at that time with Jax. We had Jade in there, which looks like she was from, from some part of the Mediterranean or possibly Mexico with that sort of like that, that bronze brown, right? And then we had uh, Tanya come in, who, as I've already pointed out in another video, was actually mo and done off of Leah Montelongo, who I think I said that right, my apologies, who is Latina and something else. But she's not African-American, she's not African, right? And they changed that. You want to talk about racism? Why did they change how these women were, right? Particularly, too, when you see who actually did the modeling for it. But anyway, let's continue. Holy damn, all you do is complain, my God. Yeah, because, again... The more, listen, okay, first and foremost, if you're a man and you voted for Kamala Harris, when you look down between your legs, it's not a penis. That is an enlarged clitoris, all right? 
Holy damn, you just complain. I am God. My man. Keep molding. Right. So you don't know shit about MK apparently, otherwise you wouldn't be on the side of real life Shao Kahn, you dingus. Mm-hmm. Checks out. Uh, you also know it's a take on her OG outfit. No, it's not actually. It's not a take on her OG outfit. She is literally wearing, copy and paste, the exact same outfit as the two other women here. How is it a take? You people are simple. Do you really think the take is, oh my god. Dude. This is in the boardroom Mortal Kombat. Dude, check this out. This is, this is, this is, this is our Mortal Kombat brain working overtime here. Get ready. What if we take the mask and headband away? Right? Ronald McDonald wants his fucking clown shoes back. Right? Give them back. Theft is a crime. Well, to be fair, Smoke wasn't an MK 1995 movie either, but they made a skin for him anyway. <gasps> no shit. But did they make Smoke's skin unmasked? No, they didn't. Now, you can fit a masked option. Oh, sorry, an unmasked, an unmasked option. But the, the Smoke skin actually came with a full... Yeah, g'day. It's a full skin and interchangeable mask, right? Including one with no mask that you can obviously, you know, put the face there, right? So with that in mind, if Smoke can have a full ninja outfit in a game, sorry, in a movie that he was never in, why can't Tanya? Where was the Vitriol when Scarlet got MK2 and Ultimate MK3? Don't worry, we're going to get to that in a second. MK11, she wasn't in those games either. Also, what's wrong with Tanya showing her face? They're not using the Tanya from the Chaos Reigns look, are they? You know, where they actually made her pretty. No. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. No, Netherrealm, they got the call. They're like, shut it down. No, nah, you can't do that. No, nah, stop it. Stop it. Stop. No more sexy. Stop it. Done. Right, you had your shot. You got two skins out there. That's it. Done. Right? I called out Scarlet and Smoke on Twitter. You just were not paying attention. Uh, for the people bringing up Scarlet, she wasn't an MK2, but there was a rumor that her red color was a glitch for Katana. Right? Well, it was a rumor. She was never in MK2, but it was just, yeah, it was a, it was a glitch, right? Did the MK, did the Smoke MK1995 skin bother you? These people are fucking stupid. Like, legitimately, one brain cell, and it's damn ass lonely. Right? Imagine saying you complain about some shit and you have this as your name. Oh, look, it's one of them they thems. <laughs> anyway, DI has nothing to do with this. They literally gave her the MK4 hair. They were just too lazy to actually do the costume instead opted on shoving her in the MK2 fit. Same exact thing with Frost and Tremor being put in the costumes they never worn instead. Well, I mean, it's just the whole game's a fucking shit show, isn't it? Isn't it? The whole game is a shit show because they can't seem to do anything fucking right except for the stages. And with the stages, they can't even do stage fatalities, but you know, whatever, right? The stages literally have back pain from carrying the game on itself, right? But this is the point. These fucking idiots keep bringing up the argument we're making. I don't care if Scarlet had an MK2 outfit. Why would I fucking care? Right? Because the reason why I don't care is because they actually gave her an MK2 outfit in MK11 with the mask and shit. Right? You can't sit there and go, oh, they just, you know, they just, uh, they were doing a combination. They were doing a combo. Really? This is MK2 from, from let me, I, from memory, I'm pretty sure it says on the fucking tin 
Mortal Kombat 2 Legacy skins. Not Mortal Kombat 2 and MK4. You fucking idiots. Imagine, imagine, right. Now, I'm just having a look at that. Hang on. Have a look at that. Imagine one brain cell and it's fucking st it's starving. It's not just lonely, it's starving. Have a good look at Tanya's outfit. Have a good old look. Have a good old look. Oh, they look different. You want to know why? Because they fucking are. You abs are you people blind on purpose? Is this is this a mental illness that I don't know about? Right? You can clearly see it's not her MK4 outfit. In fact, it doesn't have anything to do with her MK4 outfit at all. By the way, and as I already stated, this looks like a Latina. Mexican, Mediterranean girl. Now, you can think that she's black all you want. But that was my interpretation. Isn't it funny how the two people that created Mortal Kombat, right, as soon as John Tobias leaves, suddenly the Latina-looking women in the game don't look Latina no more. Yeah, this is not the same fucking outfit. W what's the same? Oh, she doesn't have a mask and a, and, a, and a headband, you fucking idiots. Right? Imagine one brain cell and not even using it. So... Could anyone create tenure with a fan art with mask, please? No, they no, they won't do it. They'll probably get banned. You'll fall, all find anything to complain about. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, that, that that time period's over, bro. Right. So she's discriminated for not getting a mask. She's not a ninja. So why did they give her an MK2 Legacy Ninja outfit? By the way, by the way, this is, I, I know they think that this is a known, right? I know they think this is a known, but they forget that you got the mask. Right? Not to mention, right, they are completely failing to understand. This is why the, this, the NRS community, I think, I think they need to go to school. I think, I think, you know, you need to get off the drugs. And you need to grow a brain cell because you're fucking stupid, right? The reason why you don't like guys like me and Total MK, apart from being beautifully white and bright, is the fact that we actually call out this shit. We actually notice the bad stuff going on. We actually see blatant racism going on or DEI stuff happening in the games, right? So with this thing here with Tanya wasn't in MK2, well, that's true. Also, what is true is that if you were going to give somebody an MK2 girl outfit like the other two girls here have, why wouldn't you go the whole way? The only reason why you don't go the whole way is because you are out, like open, I don't know what I was going to say like that, openly making a point, like the whole mask opening and closing shit on all the females with the cyber suits. So they could tick DEI as well. Well, the good thing is Trump is your daddy. And all that shit's about to go away. So enjoy it while it lasts, fuckheads. That's a beautiful... Look at that beautiful man right there. Look at that hat. I want that fucking hat, bro. Just tell me how much I need. Just You tell me how much I need and I will buy it. You, I want a hat. I'll send you the money. Right? Yeah, this guy, who deleted a 20-minute stream off his YouTube channel from abusing his mother straight because he knew that YouTube would have cancelled his channel. You know, because these guys all like the f not being free from consequences unless you bury the evidence. Uh, maybe this guy should shut his trap. Threatening to kill people, families wiped out. Oh, it's all just a joke, bro. Until he abuses his mother and gets caught out for it. I count on four chins. Oh, what are you, uh, are you man-shaming now? Are you? 
Do all you mugger bitches look the same nast fugly? Yeah, yeah. Have you guys uh, ever looked at one of your rallies? Marches? Pride marches? All right. <laughs> They're all... You do mad, didn't they? <laughs> you fucking beautiful, right? And over here, right? Yep, checks out. Uh, Tanya you get any MK2, MK2 skin despite not appearing in those games? Is Force DEI? No, Force DEI is putting the skin on a character that's black and then making sure that she doesn't have the rest of the outfit, as per. You're just pure fucking self-owned right here. My god. You know what? I take it back. Right? You don't have a brain cell. Scarlet got MK2 skins and MK11 despite not appearing. See, this is this is how you know that these people don't read. Right? They see the first thing you wrote and then forget the rest because they're instantly inflamed that the white, truthful guy is saying something accurate. You're upset a black female character received a new skin. Again, as I pointed out, both both of us were actually highly impressed and happy, and I have been on record stating that the way that Tanya looks, Empress Tanya, in the Chaos Reigns expansion, is exactly, is, well, actually, she should be the base look for Tanya in the game. Not that Michelle Obama looking fucking, you know, crap. Right? He's always bitching about something. Yep. Go go have your fucking meds. Right. The fighting game community is the biggest bunch of fruitcakes. You'll just complain about every single thing. No. No, 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 no. No. We understand what Mortal Kombat really is. Not the esports only pros. Not the fucking newcomers that started with NRS. Us OGs understand what MK is all about because we weren't just there for the gameplay. We weren't just there for the medals. We weren't just there so we could write stupid, dumbass, gay fanfiction of how Kenshi and Johnny Cage are blowing each other. No! We actually give a shit about how Mortal Kombat was first created and the storytelling because it was consistent and everything went tits up as soon as John Tobias left. Again, the self own, I think I already covered this. They said this could, they could have made an MK4, but I'm so confused how DOI because they take they took an MK Oh my god, these people are fucking idiots. The Mortal Kombat 2 female ninja skin. Right? With some Lena and Katana. But Tanya wasn't in the game, so technically speaking, her first true legacy skin should be the MK4 looking skin. And while her face looks like a bashed in biscuit tin, again, Empress, Empress Tanya, hello, right? This is how I know that these people would flip the fuck out if you changed Tanya for Jade. If Jade was standing there with no mask or headband, they would be fucking rioting. Want to know why? Oh, it's supposed to be accurate. She, 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 she's just supposed to be accurate. Right? Well, the same thing would be applying, wouldn't it? Because it would be DI, because they're taking a woman of color and making sure that she's not covered up. Now, granted, it might come out and she might actually be covered up. I doubt it. Modders will fix that anomaly. But the point being is that if Jade was there, but they didn't have her mask and her headband, these very same people would be crying about it. Right? It's supposed to be accurate. You're supposed to cover up her face. Why are you trying to cover up a beautiful black woman's face, eh? Hey, you fucking racist. These people are stupid, man. This is, so, so basically, like, these people are unwell, and they voted for Kamala, right? A hundred percent, these people voted for Kamala. Now, one last thing, because this guy can never help himself, right? We've already covered him before.
This guy openly voted for a person that would want to restrict your, restrict your freedoms and kill babies. This is your Mortal Kombat community right here, boys and girls. A guy that thinks it's okay for women to end the life of their children and vote for an actual fascist. You know, somebody that wants to release criminals, somebody that actually kept black men in prison longer when she was in her previous positions so she could use them for free labor. And this fucking virtue signaling, broccoli headed looking pubic mother effer is gonna sit here and dictate virtue. This fucking clown has no no self-reflection whatsoever. Typical of the NRS community. And you wonder why the games are a joke. You wonder why the community's a joke. Because you are the joke. You are the clowns. You are the circus. And me and Total and the rest of us that actually have more than one brain cell are outside laughing and making fun of you. Because this is why MK is not taken seriously anymore. Because you have encouraged this behavior by shilling for this stuff. You have encouraged this stuff by not caring about whether the quality of the product is good so you can get your foot in the door with companies that you probably openly hate. Like Warner Brothers. But let's not cut off that, let's not cut off that supply line though, huh? Let's make sure that door is always open. Again, a Kamala voter, right? Probably thinks they're living... This dude literally fucking was crying in a tweet that I covered. Thinking, oh, I'm so worried. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? This is how brainwashed and how fucking stupid you people are. So, going back, where is it? Where's this beautiful face? Where is it? Oh, I did, yeah, I'll oh, sorry, I'll add to this because he kept trolling, right? He kept trolling. Yep, yeah, I need a hat, bro. Right, get on that shit. Tell me how much I need to send you. So many fond memories of MK2, especially playing as Tanya. So his argument also too, like I, I don't care if she got a full ninja costume, right? It's just whatever, right? But his art uh, he's actually he's actually standing up for true authenticity here. He's actually standing up and saying, listen, I don't want Tanya to have an MK2 outfit at all. It should have been MK4's outfit. Right? So here he is trolling. You fucking love that shit, man. Right? This one here, he says, To all the drop kicks tweeting at me, you never got mad about Scarlet. I'm sorry, but you were dropped at birth. <laughs> uh, classic granny panty classic skins now available for MK11. And the best thing, you have to pay for it too. I guess they didn't learn after all. Scarlet wasn't MK2 for a start. And Katana and Melina never looked like that either. These skins look like shit to me. And he's right. MK Scarlet wasn't an MK2. It was a katana color palette glitch, right? Now, I I don't care that she got the skin, right? Cuz, you know, Scarlet's a hot character, right? Well, she was an MK9, right? Not this like communist looking Soviet Union fucking looking slag, but ultimately, right? Ultimately, okay. It's obvious that they can, they can, they can actually, this is actually proof, by the way, that, that they can actually give an MK2 outfit for a character that wasn't in a game and give them the full suit. Right? And give them the full suit. Go check out Title MK, YouTube channel, Twitter. Amazing man. Sometimes it's just too easy.